Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to quickly show you how to feed your, your catfish. The amount and quantity of feed needed to train 1,000 juvenile to table size for you to at least get a 1 kg of catfish. I want to break it down for you. Sometimes some farmers do have mistake or do mistake or miscalculate on the quantity of a feed needed to train their catfish. So I'm going to break it down for you. This is what I have done and it has worked for me. It's an experiment that I've done before that I want to share with you. This is the return on investment for 1000 pieces of catfish that is weighing one kg from the early stage of juvenile. So I'm going to show you in catfish farming, you still need to be doing some calculation. So that is the feeding part of the calculation that I want to show you now. I will advise you to watch this video to the end for you to be able to know the quantity of feed that is needed <clears throat> to raise 1000 catfish. So if you are training more than 1000, you have to multiply this uh, quotation to match the quantity that you are trying to raise. Or if you want to do lower, you have to divide this estimate to suit the one that you want to train. So let's continue. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel because we are bringing you, we are bringing to you the raw facts about fish farming. We don't hide anything from you. We always tell you the truth on anything concerning farming. So now, this is the return on investment for 1,000 pieces of one kg table size catfish. <clears throat> catfish juvenile. When you want to stock your fish, maybe some of some people will want to stock from uh, fingerlings. But this estimate I'm doing is from juvenile catfish. For instance, when you get a uh, 1,000 pieces of juvenile catfish, because we are trying to stock 1,000 pieces, we want to harvest 1,000. So that's why we are buying. <coughs> sorry, that's why we are buying 1,200 pieces of juvenile. There's a reason for that. In case there is some mortality or anything at the end of the harvesting period, you will have like 1,000 pieces of this catfish left. So in this area that I'm showing this video from, a juvenile is being sold for 30 naira per one. So when you multiply the number of the number of a, a juvenile that you have times 30, it's going to give you the sum of 36,000 naira. This is for the buying cost of the juvenile that you're about to stock, the 1,200. So at the end, no matter what happened, you will still have like 1,000 or 1,000 plus catfish remaining in your pond for harvesting. Cost of feeding of, of this uh, 1,000 catfish is this. At that first stage, you can buy all this item at once or you buy them bit by bit. When they finishes the first one, you can go for the second one. Or if you have the money, you can buy it at once. So at that first stage, when you initially stock them, you will buy three bags of 2 mm feed, which has 45% crude protein, CP, at the rate of 12,000 Naira. And this 12,000 Naira, this is the best feed. I'm using the best feed for this uh, estimate that I'm doing. I don't want to call any name of feed, but look for good feed. That three bags will cost you 36,000 Naira for that start, 2 mm feed. It has 45% uh, crude protein in it. Number two, after they must have finished that first stage of a, uh, after they have finished that first stage of 2 mm feed, you have to get the second stage. All this thing will ha happen within four months. It will happen between four months. You will get your, you will get your, one kg plus catfish if you are feeding them morning and night don't overfeed them just feed them normally for them to be okay morning and night so number two now you will buy 10 bags of 3 mm feed 
which also have 45 percent crude protein at 10,300 naira when you multiply it 10,300 naira times 10 bags it will give you 103,000 naira for the second stage as you are feeding them feeding them feeding them after some time this this feed will got finished you have to go to the third stage you will have to buy 34 bags of 4 mm feed which has a uh, 42 percent crude protein which is sold at 8700 8700 times multiply it by 34 bags of feed it will give you 295800 you have to you have to be calculative enough on how to feed this your fish don't go and waste your feed just be giving them morning and night at this stage now the fish have gotten like up to like 600 700 grams 800 grams some 900 some even getting to one kg if they are eating well after they must have finished these 34 bags their fish is almost ready for harvesting and again you need to stock good seed if you don't know how to do hashing go to my channel you will see how to do hashing on yourself you don't need to pay anybody to consult somebody to hash for you is very expensive unless if you can afford it but if you follow my video on how to hash you will learn it is very easy to hash they will make they may tell you many things that uh, it's not easy is that is that you are going to process some amount understand but it's easy if you watch my video from the beginning to the end and practice it and follow my instruction you'll be able to hash your own fish so the main secret now is good seed stock good seed or if you cannot hash go to a trusted uh, a producer people that produce this fair finger and trusted their farm and go and get them to stock don't waste your money on fish that are not good they call it runs because when you feed them with such amount of money or feed they will not convert and you will have lost in your business so you have to buy good fingerlings or you hash on your own the benefit of hashing on your own is that you have to select the best fish because after hashing, you see the ones that are growing faster than others. Those ones are the best fish that you have. When you stock them and feed them, you will understand what I mean. So the next stage now is number four. You now get 22 bags of 6 mm feed. This one has 40% crude protein. They are being sold for 8,400. It depends on the location of this feed. This location that I am now, this is the estimate I'm giving you from my own location. So check around your own location to know. And if you multiply 8,400, it will give you... 184,800 naira for that so the total amount of feed you are going to feed this 1,000 fish is 69 bucks and each bag of uh, feed is weighing 15 kg and that 15 kg multiplied by the number of these bags it will give you 1,035 kg this is the size of the sum of the feed they have they have taken or they are about to take which is about 1,000 35 kg and the sum of amount from my own location of the cost of the feed is 651,700 this estimate i'm doing now is for 1000 pieces of uh, 1000 pieces of uh, catfish that is above from 1 kg and above then operating cost of this for this four months for this four months plus because after four months it will still enter closer to just from four months plus this is the operating cost from that juvenile stage to four months plus power of pumping water it depends on your location electricity bill and all that or fueling or all that we are estimating fifty thousand for that four months plus and miscellaneous expenses you will keep five thousand for it and other logistics logistic costs just keep seven thousand and you know fish do have medication sometimes antibiotics and all that some people do use medication some don't use and the, no, another thing again you have to another thing now is the quality of your water make sure that your water is always good for this feed to be combating very well make sure that your water is always clean so that this feed will convert very well for you and it will, uh, it will minimize the disease outbreak from your pond so the subtotal of this uh, operating cost is sixty five thousand naira then if you want to calculate now the total running cost of this uh, 1000 to produce this 1000 catfish 
that are up to table size is this cost of fish plus cost of feed plus operating costs the cost of fish is 36,000 that we use in buying the uh, juvenile and cost of feed is 651,700 for the 69 bucks then operating cost is 65,000 so the total running cost TRC of this experiment is of this project is 716,700 are you getting it now now when you are training fish the reason why we bought 1200 fishes is that we want to actually have 1000 plus during harvesting or 1000 because when you buy fish normally fish must die one two three as as the day goes by you some of them will be dropping one two like that at least at the end of the month you still have 1000 and 1000 plus inside your pond to harvest that's why we are adding this mortality of 200 making it 1200 fishes so the 20 percent mortality for every 1000 is 200 pieces mortality so total fish now that we have in the pond minus mortality pieces i'm not saying that all the 200 will die but some time or some will still die so we'll do 1200 minus 200 pieces mortality fish it will remain 1000 pieces of catfish that is what you have left in your pond for estimate for harvesting then the estimated yield is this feed intake that your fish took that your 1200 fishes took is which is about 69 bars which is 1300 1035 kg if you if you multiply the 15 kg bag of the feed times 69 it will give you 1035 kg of that expected uh, uh, sum of the bags of feed then the expected weight gain is approximately 1000 1016 kg time will not permit me to do all the calculation but that is what you will get this is a very short video just for me to just put this uh, because some people have been asking me how do i train to some amount of fish i say let me just use 1000 and show you so the expected weight gain is 1016 kg then when you are selling the fish is not matured for selling as you are selling it depends on your area from now from this side i'm 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 sending this video from they are selling uh, at the rate of 1100 which is the minimum price it's more than that now but i'm using the lowest uh, amount to calculate this thing so if you sell above this it's better some people are saying uh, 1300 per kg 14 per kg but i'm using 1100 for minimal this thing calculation at the selling price of 1100 per kg of fish then multiply it by the total number of weights of the catfish which is a uh, 1016 kg so 1100 naira multiplied by 1016 kg are you getting me because the total sum of fish now will be 1016 kg of fish you are selling it as a whole let's assume you are selling it at a whole all the fish after putting them in, in somewhere you have scared them and they weighed 1016 kg the whole of them then you multiply it with the selling price they are selling it at that particular time which is 1000 100 for my own estimate it will give you total sale price of 1 million 117,600 then your profit now is this if you want to know the profit that you have made after this investment you will cut after the sales then subtract the total running cost the total running cost of that year uh, to train that 1000 catfish the total running cost, both the feed, both the operating cost and medication and all that. The total running cost is 716,700. And you sold them for 1,117,600. That's what you sold them for. Then what you will do now is subtract that running cost from the sales, which is 1,117,600 1, minus 716,700. So your profit now is 400,000. Just 400,900. That is their profit for training 1,000 uh, catfish. So let me assume you have, on your own capacity, you have uh, finance to finance the project. Let me assume you want to train like, like 5,000 5, uh, pieces of uh, a juvenile. You want to train them to 1 kg of fish. Then multiply this profit. Multiply all this thing by 5. 
That's what you use in training then. Then you also multiply these profits by five, which is about two point something million as profit. So it depends on your capacity. And if you are not, if you don't have money or you don't, you are not buoyant enough, you want to train lesser. Let me imagine you want to train 500. You want to train 500 pieces of that fish. Then divide this estimate into two. Both your profit, divide it into two. You will earn like 200,000 at the end of the harvesting. Where you are training 5,000. And also the running cost and everything, divide it into two. Thank you for watching this video. And the only support you can give us is just to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Then hit the notification bell so that you will get any important video that is coming your way. And if you have any uh, complaint or you have any comments, you can also drop it on the comment box below. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye. This video is brought to you by Fish Farming TV. Thank you.